hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm excited to be here again with another video yes guys you know that uh, the super eagles of nigeria are preparing for their qualifiers against uh, bafana bafana of south africa and the chetas of Benin in the on uh, 20 in, in the 2026 world cup qualifiers and uh, one of the major points of the the players selected for the encounter is the return of the former number one goalkeeper Maduka Okoye. And there have been a lot of turns that there will be a serious competition, you know, between the now number one Stanley Wabali and Maduka Okoye. But before I go into details, you are most welcome. It's a channel to be appreciated greatly. Thank you so much for coming. If you are here for the first time, consider subscribing to the channel. Press the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post new videos. And also help and share the video if it's possible for you to do. Okay? Um, to my friends out there, thank you for the love and support. My subscribers, the new and the returning one, I want to appreciate all that you do to keep this channel on. Thank you very much for your support. Guys, watch the video to the end. Give me a thumbs up and share the video if it is possible for you. Having said that, let's go straight into the gist. Super Eagles goalkeeper Stanley Wabali welcomes competition for Nigerian goalkeeping department. Super Eagles goalkeeper Stanley Wabali has stated that he has no reason to fight with Udin's star Maduka Okoye for the starting shirt in the national team you know umwa bali has enjoyed a significant rise in the status in the last six months former super eagles coach joseph Pesero handed him call up for the 2023 african cup of nations because of francis Uso's consistent blunders which caused the national team on multiple uh, occasions so the former Enugu Rangers man grabbed the opportunity with both hands as he was one of Nigeria's best players in the tournament, keeping four clean sheets and making two penalty saves in the run up to their second place finish. Goalkeeper Stanley Wabali also manned the stick for Nigeria last time out when they played Ghana and Mali. The 28 year old short stop. Stopper has brought some solidity and assurance to the goalkeeping position after Francis Sou and Okoye's disappointing performances in recent years. Meanwhile, Maduko Okoye seems to be back to his best after his struggles for club and country since two seasons ago. He has started to show the promise he showed at Sparta Rotterdam. He had a decent campaign with Udins, registering five clean sheets in 21 games. With 24 year olds recent performances merited him a call up to finish call up to finish the judge score for the 2026 World Cup qualifiers against uh, South Africa and Benin next month, and that's in June. Uh, Maduka Koye's call up has proved the possibility of Stanley Wabali manning the sticks in doubt. That's the thought of people, but I don't think so personally. Uh, Maduka Koye used to be the first choice until he lost form. And now that he seems to have returned back to his form, Coach Finidi may be tempted to start him. However, Stanley Wabali. Is not worried that he could lose his number one place, rather, he's only interested in the progress of the team. There is no debate if Maduka can give what is given with Deans to the country, then he should play. Mwabali told in a press. It's not like a club side where you see a new signing and you talk about fighting. No, this is country we are this is country we are playing for. We are representing this green, white, green, and we want to see everyone happy. 
stay in George Finidi. We'll be looking to minimize risk as soon as possible. Since Stanley Wabali has proven to be trustworthy, it is unlikely that Finidi will bench him. I'd like to have your opinion, guys. What do you think? Who do you think should man the post for Nigeria against South Africa and, and the Benin Republic? I would like to know your candid opinion concerning this competition that will arise between these two goalkeepers. On present form, uh, Stanley Wabali has proved himself to be very solid in goal for Nigeria. We are asked also the the new call-up, Madoka Okoye, has also proved good, a good form for his club side, Udins. But, of course, playing for club side is different from national team. I believe that uh, the solidity of uh, Stanley Wabali in recent matches for Nigeria, especially during the Cup of Nations, should put him ahead of any other goalkeeper's call to the camp. Anyway, the coach can only feed one goalkeeper in a match. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> if you want Maduka to be between the post, let me know by saying, by writing Maduka. And if you want Wabali Stanley to be, to man the post for Nigeria, please write there. Stanley, I will appreciate it if you can make your comment and let me know why you are choosing uh, any of them. Of course, the bottom line is that the matches ahead of Nigeria against South Africa and the Benin Republic, they are very, very crucial match, matches and the uh, Nigerians should be going for victories if the dream of participating in, in 2026 World Cup. Yeah, of course, one of the tasks given to the new coach is to qualify Nigeria for the World Cup. If he wants to retain his job, yes, I think he will do all within his scenarios to make sure that, uh, you know, these dreams come to pass. Thank you so much one more time for coming by to watch my video. I sincerely, sincerely appreciate the love and support. If, peradventure, you are yet to make up your mind, please do subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my video. Yeah, guys, it is doable. It is possible. There's nothing on here that is not doable. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. Just position yourself for, for greatness. And when the opportunity comes knocking, you take it. Guys, thank you very much. Like, come your way. Next time, with another video, I'd like to say to you, bye-bye.